Oh, rain, rain, please go away. Well, it's not going away. So on days like this, yes, we feel down, we lose energy. I just want to stay in my pajamas all day. So how do we get out of that funk? Please welcome Dr. Nadine Corey with some amazing solutions. And you say we can get help through mm -hmm. various things that we take in. Is this through food or, or supplements? So let's begin yep. with what makes happy people. You say good Definitely. fats are a big part of that. Definitely. So my first tip is to really choose who you're going to spend time with this weekend as we anticipate the next few days okay. uh, of gloomy and rainy weather. So there's a study out of uh, the University of California that has shown that if you surround yourself with positive people, your chance of being positive and feeling happy is increased by 25%. It's so true because we're constantly <laughs> running jokes in here and people always say that. You've seen the energy. Yes. How is Definitely. Everyone's so happy. Yeah. We feed off of these. This, look at this crew, right? Guys? <laughs> <laughs> Are we no. happier? Exactly. Everyone, everyone's okay. smiling and happy. Good the second, facts. Yeah, yes. definitely. The second tip is to always start your day right. So you want to start your day with a breakfast that's dense in protein and rich in healthy fats. For example? For example. So I have an example of a breakfast shake or smoothie that you can make in the morning. Okay. But just to explain why you need proteins uh, for breakfast, it's because it's going to support your ability to make dopamine. Dopamine is that hormone that's going to make you feel motivated and driven and focused. It'll also support your ability to make thyroid hormones, mm -hmm. uh, you know, increasing your ability to also uh, regulate temperature uh, and increases your energy, improves your uh, mood. So how many mm -hmm. grams of protein would we so need on average in the breakfast Between meal? 20 and 30 grams. Okay. okay? Uh, another thing is you want to have healthy fats. Healthy fats uh, support your cognitive ability, uh, help you focus, increase your energy, your mood, but also as an added bonus, uh, it controls and regulates appetite throughout the day. 20 to 30 grams seems like a lot for one meal. So how so, do you pack yeah, that all in? Exactly. So what you can do is you can make a smoothie in the morning. Uh, you'll use a scoop of a protein powder or okay. a serving of a protein powder. A uh, hundred percent uh, whey isolate is a very bioabsorbable and bioavailable source of protein. No way. Mm -hmm. Whey. Okay. <laughs> you, you can use uh, as your fat source a tablespoon of organic almond butter, okay. a pinch of sea salt for minerals and that supports your stress response, your adrenal glands. Uh, coconut uh, a tablespoon of cocoa nibs, uh, full of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. uh, remember to add cocoa because studies have shown that cocoa will improve your mood. You can use chocolate, unsweetened chocolate, uh, chocolate almond milk, a cup of that, some fiber, uh, and there you go. And then you have a really tasty uh, and protein rich uh, and fat rich. Satiating. Uh, yeah, okay, definitely. You say exercise. How much would mm -hmm. you need a day to So you get don't, those? between a uh, 10 and 20, 20 minutes a day. Okay. You don't want to go over 40 minutes. Do not go over 40. Mm -hmm, because 40 minutes will, inc more than 40 minutes, has a tendency to increase your cortisol hormone, and that's your stress hormone, uh, causing a counterproductive sort of effect. Uh, and then we might not get that increase in energy and serotonin and dopamine it that we're looking for. It actually leaves you feeling more tired and stripped of your resources, and your body wants to store fat. People don't realize that when they're going crazy with these hour-long soul cycle or whatever it is classes. Exactly, and your you body's be depleted. depleting yourself. Right. Exactly. So only 10 to 20 minutes. Doable. Yeah, yeah. One last thing. Vitamins B and D you say fill up on. Yes. So, but we all know that vitamin D is the sunshine sort of vitamin. Uh, that's very important to activate serotonin in your brain. Serotonin is that neurotransmitter, again, that makes you feel happy, increases your mood, improves energy, focus, motivation. So we definitely want to supplement with vitamin D if we're not exposed to the sun. The only way you can make vitamin D, vitamin D is if you're exposed to the sun. Right. So that's very important. And you can combine that with omega-3 essential fatty acids which allow the release of serotonin from brain cell to brain cell. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, Great info. No Breakfast <laughs> We're feeling better already. Over to you, Kevin.